and welcome back to the kingdom. I hope you guys have had a positive week this week. So this week I'll be sharing with you guys the sprayed edge I did on the Black Flamingo by Dean Atter. So first of all, hats off to this excellent cover design. I mean, just look at that and with the foil as well with how shimmery it is. I just, I love it. It is brilliant. Um, the cover has been illustrated by Anshika Kala. I'm really sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Um, and just, I love everything about it. And let's just look at all the way around with the foil. Just A plus, I'm in love. Now, as it's the last week of Pride, uh, and you guys know I've been doing Pride flags for Pride, uh, this book is no exception. This book is phenomenal. It is about a young gay black man who wants to drag. It is brilliant. I hugely, hugely, I, like, I cannot recommend this book enough. It was so beautiful, so bold, so wonderfully written as well so if you're looking for a good contemporary book highly recommend okay on to the sprayed edge so i decided to do the rainbow flag is still a little bit wet as you can see a little bit of discoloration that's because it's wet when it's dry it's almost matte but i was so excited by how this turned out i just i just i had to film immediately um so as you can see we've got the rainbow flag along the edge and then we've got along the top and the bottom. We've got the pink background with the black feathers. Okay, enough watering from me. Let's jump into the time lapse.
Let's get another look at the book. Okay, so again, we've got this rainbow red to purple sprayed edge. Then we've got the pink background, top and bottom with the black feathers on the top. I really love how this sprayed edge has turned out. It's so colorful, it's so vibrant, it just pops. I think it offers a fabulous colorful finish to this book and really does just help it stand out on a bookshelf. Like if you can see here, like it just it just stands out. You've got this beautiful rainbow and you've got this fantastic, uh, fantastic design on top and the bottom that matches the cover. So as you can see, I am obsessed with the outcome, but if you guys could uh, pick something else to do on the uh, sprayed edge, what would you have done? Have you read this book? Let me know down in the comments below uh, and let's get chatting because I love hearing about the designs that you guys would like to see on these books. Okay, so what's coming up soon? Um, there's going to be a long packaging vlog because I have I'm halfway through shipping out all of the A Court of Silver Flames books. So there's going to be a long sort of ASMR style uh, packaging vlog of just me packaging up and shipping out books. Then there is going to be The Girl Serpent Thorn and The Girl That Fell Beneath the Sea. So those videos are going to be coming out soon. Soon as well, I will be announcing my next uh, limited edition. Thank you to everyone who has bought a limited edition. Uh, thank you to everyone who has posted about my limited editions. You guys are amazing. And when I release the uh, next limited edition, which is a brand new book with a brand new design, um, I will also be reopening a sale period for A Court of Silver Flames. So the sale periods will be exactly the same. And obviously there is the minimum quota. So if I don't get more than 20 orders, then everybody gets a full refund but it won't be going ahead. Um, so that is just the caveat with um, the sale periods. But if you've been here on this channel for a while, you'll know that already. Okay, so that's all for me. I'm gonna stop wittering. Uh, I hope you guys have a fantastic week and I'll see you next time. Bye.